Hey y'all, my name is Travis, and welcome to Travis Brick's YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about used sets. Um, so this is probably one of the things that I get asked most about when people see my collection or ask me about my collection, is kind of how I acquire things, um, acquire used sets. Um, honestly, probably over half my collection I acquired through used sets, maybe even closer to three quarters. Um, of my collection is all used sets of various different um, states or states that I bought them in. Um, so I'm going to kind of talk you through a couple of those types of things and kind of how I handle things with used sets and what I look for when I am buying a used set. So um, real quick, because um, if you've seen my collection, you've seen, I, I probably need to do an updated room tour, um, especially now that I've moved some stuff around. I think it looks a little bit better. Um, so I started building the architecture stuff in um, somewhere around 2015 um, and collected a pretty decent bit of the architecture stuff, mostly kind of as it came out or kind of as I saw it. Um, tried to pick up as many as possible kind of that were released because that was not too long after they started the architecture line. Um, so a lot of them were still pretty readily available. So I collected a whole bunch of those. Um, and then I collected some of the botanicals as they started to come out as well. Um, and then when the architecture line moved into the like skyline thing, I started to lose a little bit of interest in it and was looking for something more substantial. And so that's when I moved to modulars. And the bookshop was the first one I bought. And I bought that and built that the end of 2021, December of 2021. Um, and so within about six months, I had my small city kind of over there in the corner. Um, it was just um, a handful of modulars. And then obviously in two years, it has grown to this. So um, again, the easiest way that I've grown my collection is just by buying used sets. Um, I rarely, and as I've said this a couple times, I rarely buy new sets at retail. Um, and so, I, you know, I've talked about ways that I avoid retail by buying off clearance or buying on sale or even just buying from Lego and getting points back. Um, I just recently used all my points from this past year to pick up the museum and I got, uh, I think $225 off the museum by using my points from the previous year. Um, so that's one of the ways, but then one of the other ways is I will buy used new, new sets or current release sets that either someone bought or someone someone bought and put together and didn't like. Um, one of these, which I'll talk about in a minute here, um, someone bought, started to put together and stopped halfway through. Um, sometimes people just want the figs out of it so they'll sell the rest of the build, whether it's built or not. Um, so anyways, uh, used sets, even if they are current release sets, is also a great way to grow your collection on a little bit of a budget, um, or you get to spend, you you get to buy more with what your budget is. Um, so let's 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 now take a look at some of the different kind of states that um, you sets can come in. Okay, so I'm going to start with probably the best and worst way to get used sets. Um, so this is. Um, a retired set, obviously. Uh, this is the uh, Winter Village Fire Station. This was released um, 2018. Um, and I bought this um, within the last year. Um, and this is probably the least way that I buy, buy non-current sets. Um, this is new and technically sealed technically sealed, even though that seal's really loose, sealed in box. Um, the box is a little crappy. Um, for those of you that don't know, a lot of people will collect sealed collections. Uh, this would not be one that they would want, okay? They, it's got um, tape marks. The box is kind of beat up a little bit. Um, the seals are really, really super loose. Um, this is not something that a sealed collector is going to want. Um, so I picked this up on a deal, um, but this is this is still new and sealed. So I know this has all of the pieces. 
I know everything's in there. I know this is perfectly good to go, build, and be done. The bad thing about this is that you will sometimes pay extra for that convenience of it being sealed and new, new in the box. Um, so I rarely, very rarely acquire sets this way. Um, in fact, I can probably count on my two hands the times that I've built or that I've bought a retired set new sealed in box. This is not my preferred way because two reasons. First off, um, I don't want to pay the extra money for it to be sealed in box for me to just go ahead and open it. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to open it and build it. Um, so whether it's sealed in the box or not, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, so I don't feel like that's worth the extra money to me. Because sometimes it might be double or triple the cost of a used complete set um, that's already out of the box. So I don't find it useful to buy these sets for my own personal collection. Now, I know people who do like that experience of cutting open the seals, cutting open the sealed bags and all that. Um, that's just not me. I'd rather at the, at the end of the day um, have money to spend on something else, um, like another set or something, um, than that experience of opening the bags and all that. So this is not the way I typically buy stuff, but this is a way to get stuff, especially if the box is damaged, okay? Um, but yeah, so this is one way um, that I acquire used sets, but this is the least likely that I will ever buy new sealed in box. Um, just, it's not cost effective for me. I also, there's a part of me that doesn't like unsealing something, especially if it's like a really old set. Um... I will not buy a sealed thing just because I know I'm going to open it. And if it's lasted 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years being sealed, I don't want to be the one to open it. Um, there is certainly a market for that sealed stuff. And um, it's really cool to see some of the old packaging left intact, especially the old boxes that have the flap that lifts up. Um and it's cool to see those intact, so I would not open anything like that. This one I probably will open because, again, this is a little bit newer. The box is kind of beat up. Someday I will eventually build this. I just didn't put on my Winter Village this year, so that's why it didn't get built. So maybe this will get built for maybe Christmas in July or something. Um, okay, let's move on. We're going to kind of move in um, order of best building situation to worst building situation. So let's move on to the next best Okay, this is probably my next favorite way to get a set. This um, this is used, complete, disassembled. Um, and you have to be careful about your sources when buying this type of set, and really any of these used sets. Because when someone says it is used, complete, you're taking them at their word for the fact that it's used, complete. Um... I buy a lot from Whatnot, where I've gotten to know a lot of the sellers on there, and so I trust that source. I trust those sellers. Um, and I trust that that person is going to take 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 like care of me if something um, major or critical is missing. Um, Bricklink, I feel like, is a pretty decent source because there's some safeguards in place that protect the buyer and the seller. Um, so that's also a place that I feel usually pretty safe about buying stuff from. Um, Facebook Marketplace and those types of things are probably the least safe way that I feel about getting things like this. Um, just because you are taking their word and they could be someone that you've never met, never interacted with in your entire life. And you're having a 30 second business deal. Um, and that's a hard time to get a sense of whether or not you believe them when they say that something is complete or that you know, 99 per like cent of the parts are there. Um, so, um, let's see, uh, has, has anyone guessed what this set is? Move this around a little bit, see if anyone can guess what this set is. Um, so anyways, I bought this used complete disassembled. Um, and the reason that I like it disassembled is because I can throw it in my cleaning bags, throw it in the tub, do my cleaning process with it and it's good to go. I don't have to worry about dusting. I don't have to worry about anything like that. I can easily clean it and then um, 
I usually stick it back into a bag of some sort, a big bag like this, and I will label it and stick it in my box, and um, it goes into the building queue, basically. Um, the only thing that is better than this is if someone has taken the time to reverse build it. And basically what I mean by that is they have started from the end of the book and taken apart all of the stuff that goes into bag 10 and then bag 9 and bag 8. So they've taken the time to kind of rebag things by bag number so that when you build, it's building as if um, it was new, just all the bags are opened. Um, I rarely get that because that takes a whole lot of time on the seller end. And time means money. So usually you have to pay more for those types of sets. And honestly, it really doesn't matter to me. So when I get something like this, I'm going to clean it, go through my own cleaning process. It'll get stored away for a little bit till I'm ready for it. And then when I go to build it, I will do a rough sort. So I'll sort by like my main categories that I do for my rough sort before sorting in drawers. So I'm sorting out bricks, um, bricks, tiles, plates, slopes, odds and ends. Um, if there's a lot of one type of thing, I'll pull those. I'm pulling out minifig parts. Um, and so I do a pretty rough sort. If there's a lot of one color, like this set, and maybe this will be a clue to you, has a lot of these one by six nougat tile uh, bricks, um, I might pull them out uh, into a separate thing just to make building easier. But again, my goal is to just make building easier when I'm sorting through this, so I'm not trying to sort down and do the whole knolling thing. Um, I, that's just not my style. Um, but, anyways, so this is my next favorite way to get stuff because it just makes my life easy. I can easily throw it in the bag, clean it, and then store it, okay, because this is really easy to store because um, this is a whole set. Um, that I can just throw in a box. I can fit quite a few into my boxes that I use for storage. Um, and then just do a quick sort before I build. Um, so this is my favorite way to get used sets. Um, but there's some situations where I don't want this. And I'll talk about that in a second. Um, for those of you that are wondering, this is the Boutique Hotel. Um, was it 10 um, A modular. So this was my second copy of this. Um, so this is actually destined for an alternative build. So the fact that it's taken apart and I have to sort it is exactly what I would do had I bought a new one. So this is even more advantageous for me building alt builds is to get a set that was sold and stored like this. Um, let's go to the next of the ways I like to get sets. Okay, so um, I talked about my love of the architecture line and the not skylines. Uh, this is the Roby, the Roby house. This is a very hard to get set. Um, and I bought this recently. Um, and it was shipped to me built. Okay. Um, if you trust your seller to ship it to you built, um, there are some situations where that is highly advent, ad, advent, advent, advantageous. And this specific set is one of those. For those of you that know, this dark red color from this era of Lego is just incredibly brittle. Um, and this house is is almost like it was made by bricks. Like the brick, not like Lego brick, because obviously it's Lego brick. Um, but it's all made by um, one buys that are stacked. And if you were to take this apart, I bet you would probably snap over half of these. Um... This is just an incredibly brittle set, um, and I would not take this apart for any reason. Um, so you probably can't see too well in video, but it's actually a little dusty. Um, I need to do a little bit better of cleaning this up. But I will do my best to clean this up kind of as is, and it's just going on the shelf, and that's where it's going to stay. I won't take it apart to clean it. Um, I won't take it apart to inventory. I'm just going to trust that it's all there and move on with my life. Um, so this dark red, um, dark brown, I'm sorry, old, old brown, um, like things like the Simpsons house, 
Um, I would prefer to buy those either never put together or um, used built. Okay. Now, again, you run into some problems like shipping um, with used built sets. So that's not exactly always advantageous. And then plus, to clean it, you're kind of stuck with what you got. You know, I use my brush. I use my rag. Um, I use a little bit of water and stuff just to kind of clean up. But you can't really clean the parts very well. So you're kind of stuck with how it is. Um, but, like I said, sometimes the chances of breaking stuff outweigh, um, outweigh the cleaning aspect of it. Um, another great example would be the Ghostbusters Firehouse. Um, I would not want to buy that. Um, or if I did buy that, I would not want to disassemble that. Um, just so much brittle dark red. That just that makes my that just makes me cringe thinking about. So, anyways, um, like I said, I just clean this up with a rag, with my brush, um, maybe just a little bit of light um, water on the rag, just to kind of clean up and stick some of the dust, and it's good to go. Um, but the problem is, you know, the bigger the set, the harder it is to ship. The harder it, the harder it might get wrecked in shipping. Um, so there is the shipping aspect of it, or issue aspect of it. Now, if you're buying locally somewhere like a bricks and like a bricks and a minifig or whatever, a um, little bit less of an issue. So this is definitely not my favorite way to get stuff. I would much rather build it because I like because I because I like the actual experience of it too. Um, however, there are some sets that you just kind of take it with what it is, and I also got a fantastic deal on this set. So I'm not too upset about not getting to build it, especially because this one was probably a pain to build because of all the stacking one by twos. Um, but anyways, so this is um, probably the next, uh, I don't want to say next best way to get sets because it's really not. This is my least, this is my second to least per, per preferred way to get sets behind sealed in box, which is not really a bad thing. That's just a personal thing. Um, but this is not a great way for me to acquire you sets. However, there are some, some very specific sets where I would prefer it this way. Um, let's go on to my next kind of state of things. Let's play guess that, guess that set again. Um, this one's going to be a pretty easy one to do. Um, this is honestly probably my absolute least favorite way to get used sets. Um... Because a couple reasons. Um, so this is partially built, but complete. Um, there's just so many things that you, there's just so many steps that you have to go through before you even consider building something like this that it takes a lot of the fun out of it. Um, so as you can see, this person had partially built this set. Um, if this roof piece doesn't give it away, I don't know what it will. Um, but as you can see, they kind of took it apart somewhat to stick it in these bags. Um, but there are still sealed sealed bags. Um, so, there's a couple different ways I deal with this. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is obviously just put the sealed bags back away because obviously that's going to be fine. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assess all the parts that are built already and figure out if it is A, worth my time to break back down and sort, B, does it need cleaning, and C, if it, if it doesn't need cleaning, do I need to break it apart or can I get it kind of back together the way that it should go? Um, and I think what I'm going to do with this set, this is, this, this is like Rivendell, if you couldn't tell by the roof piece, um, is I'm probably going to take apart a lot of the structures, but leave some of the more time consuming things together. So like this roof piece, I'm going to leave together because I know that that's how that roof piece goes together. I can quickly look at it when I get to the directions and know that, okay, there's that step. Um, but some of these structure things I'll probably take apart just so, you know, I'm not um, ending up with extra parts that were supposed to go somewhere that I missed because they had fallen out 
or whatever. Um, because this is a pretty new set, um, I don't have to worry about cleaning it. So that's also kind of influencing my decision to just kind of um, halfway leave it together, halfway disassemble and sort. Um, and so um, this one is definitely more of a unique thing, but probably one of the ways that I least enjoy getting sets. Again, I got a killer deal on this set. So literally something that I couldn't pass up. Um, I offered it a guy a amount on this and did not expect him to take it and he took it. So, um, you know, I, I'm really not complaining about getting this. I'm very excited to build this, but my excitement has been tampered by the fact that I have to deal with all of this. Um, before I get to the actual fun building part. Um, so maybe I'll do a stream someday about building this or going through it and sorting it and all that. Um, but for now, it's going to sit like this. Um, let's move on to the next way. Okay, this last way is probably the most cost-effective way. However, one of the more tedious ways to acquire use sets. Um... This is used mostly complete. Um, and I'm going to loop this into with used partially complete. Um, so I bought this set from a very, very, very trusted seller. Um, and when I paid for it, I saw it built. So I know that most of the pieces are there. Um, they just kind of fell off in shipping, which is fine. The biggest thing that's missing from this set... And I've, and I've already pulled out the figs because I don't want the figs getting scratched up. So I've already pulled out the figs, so I'm already good on the figs. But this is obviously a pirate ship. What's the pirate ship missing? It's missing sails. Well, it just so happened that I was buying parts and bought a pretty mint set of sails for the ship. So I already had the sails. I just needed the ship. So this was a really easy way for me to at least get most of the way there. Um, this is, however, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this on video, but it is absurdly dusty. Um, so this one I will very, very, very carefully take apart because this is a vintage set. Um, I didn't look up the year on this, but this is either late 80s, early 90s. Um, this is the Imperial Armada flagship um, or Imperial flagship. One of those. Um, so I will very carefully take this apart, very carefully clean it, especially with the browns. Um, the browns are very brittle. Um, so I will very carefully clean this and then reassemble it um, and then put basically brand new but authentic sails on it. Um, and so I'm going to talk about the other type of used not complete set that um, I've bought is I bought my Grand Emporium um, about 50% complete. So the process for that for me is complete dis complete disassembly if um, if it is if if it is assembled, and I'm gonna finally sort that um, and compare it against the inventory that's in Bricklink, and I'll use Bricklink. And I will part out the whole set. There's a little part out thing on Bricklink. And then as I go through, I will mark that I have those parts. So that then when I'm done, I can see two things. First off, I can see how much of the set is actually there. Um, Bricklink will tell you. It says it right on there as kind of you're going. And then I can very easily order parts right from that same thing. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone in that I'm inventorying and also going ahead and making my list for my order. Um, and so that's a very time consuming task. However, that is probably the most cost effective way to complete use sets or to acquire use sets is to um, either buy them partially completed or mostly completed and complete them on your, on your, on your, on your own. Um, I will kind of add that last final step, um, which is the most time consuming, and that is completely parting in a set from absolutely nothing, from basically starting with, you know, 
one piece and parting in a whole set. Um, that is sometimes that is sometimes beneficial and cost effective. Sometimes not. Sometimes it is better to buy a partially complete that has some of the more rarer, expensive parts already combined together, um, and then complete it than it is to buy individual parts. Um, again, it fully depends on the set, how many rare exclusive parts are in it, if there's minifigs involved, if those are very rare minifigs to get. Um, something else I'll do with minifigs is that I will acquire the minifigs separate of the build um, or vice versa because um, that's sometimes a way to cut some cost as well. Um, but anyways, so the least of all the ways to get stuff is to complete them your or to buy not complete sets. Um, and you know, th that is not something I would recommend for someone who's just starting out or, um, is not familiar with BrickLink, um, or BrickAl by that extension. Um, because that, that's a very time consuming process and you can end up really deep in the budget very quickly if you don't know exactly what you're doing to do some cost saving things on BrickLink. Um, and if you don't already have some stock of parts, I'm lucky that I have a okay stock of parts that, um, if something's missing one or two pieces, I normally have it somewhere in this room. Um, so, and if I wanted to completely part in a set from absolutely nothing or piece together a set from absolutely nothing, um, I at least have a base to start with rather than starting from completely scratch. Um, so yeah, so those are the kind of couple ways to acquire some used sets. Okay, so hopefully that was useful to kind of talk about some different ways that people might acquire used sets. Um, again, my favorite um, kind of, if we're doing a Venn diagram, that kind of middle area of cost savings to time to enjoyability is kind of that used, complete, but disassembled situation. Um, I would say that's probably one of the more frequently ways that sets are sold as far as used sets. Um, you know, some of the other ones are definitely more fringe um, as far as ways to get them, but they're definitely all out there pretty readily. Um, but the used complete of any sort of variety is always my favorite way to get them. Um, cause it takes no other effort aside from maybe sorting, cleaning. Um, I don't have to take time to inventory and then possibly go out and buy and wait for an order to come in, um, to finish up a set. So, uh, if you like this type of video, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. If you agree that used completes kind of your favorite way to get um, older sets or even new sets, uh, current release sets. I, sh I shouldn't say new, but current release sets. Um, let me know if there's um, a way that sets get sold that I'm, or you sets that get sold that I missed. Um, and let me know what your favorite way is. Um, again, make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for some more videos. I got a lot of projects lined up for the next couple weeks. Um, and hopefully I'll remember to bring y'all along for them. See y'all.